The best offer always wins. Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group and in a highly competitive marketplace like real estate, the best offer always wins. And it's not the best offer for the buyer, it, what the buyer thinks the best offer is, it's what the best offer is for the seller in the seller situations, in the seller's predic predicaments, right? Where the seller wants to go, the seller's timelines and what the seller wants to take. And so we have to craft an offer that's gonna be the very best. And I'm gonna give you three tips to improve your offer when it comes to buying your next home. And the first most critical thing you need to include in your offer is a pre-approval letter from a bank. And this is the thing, you don't have to go get that before you look at a home, you just have to be prepared to get it when you do find the home. And I'm not talking a pre-qualification letter, a pre-approval letter, which means they've seen your pay stubs, they've seen your tax returns, they've checked your credit, they've verified your employment so that when you find that home, boom, they get a letter and it means something because not all lender letters mean anything, but yours will. And the listing agent's gonna love that and the seller's gonna love that. The second thing you need to understand is when does the seller need to move out or what are the seller's timelines? Because you can, you can craft your offer to give the seller what they want. If you want the best offer, the, the seller's looking at the most money and the best terms and the terms you can give them is the closing date. So, or possession date, when do they wanna be out? How soon can you close? Or maybe it'd be better for the seller to have a couple extra days after closing to move out because the seller really wants the least amount of hassles too. So as a buyer, your, your agent needs to go out and find what the seller wants in terms of closing date and possession date. Don't just pick something and think that's gonna work for the seller. That's not gonna win. The third most important thing when it comes to improving the offer is your contingencies. Most notably, the home inspection. See, the seller wants the most money, they wanna sell on their timelines, and they want the least amount of hassles. So the more contingencies you put in your offer, the more hassle it will be for the seller. See, the seller probably doesn't want to do a bunch of repairs, right? So when they see the home inspection, they're thinking you're gonna tear it apart and ask them to repair things. I'm not saying don't get a home inspection. In fact, I recommend you always get a home inspection, but I want you to think about it. Every time you make an offer, think about it. Because if there's another offer without a home inspection or that says they're not gonna ask for repairs, you're probably gonna lose. Or the chances are you will lose, right? So you just gotta pick your battles, right? Pick your spots there. Is it worth it? What's my risk look like? And so those are the three ways to improve your offer outside of price. You notice I didn't even talk about price? Is pre-approval letter, right? Closing dates or possession dates and a home inspection and contingencies.